Well, welcome to the Live at the Hive with Janice Jockel. And I'm super excited to have Michelle Masika from Sperry. I can't tell you what an inspiration this lady is for me. She has just totally inspired me in so many ways. And I can't wait to have her share your, her story with us. So without further ado, Michelle. Thank welcome. you. I'm, I'm excited super to be excited to yes. have you on our show. Excited to be here. So <laughs> tell our viewers what you do. Okay. So um, I, we, or I own a uh, boutique, small boutique commercial real estate company. Uh, we are part of a larger franchise that's based out of California. And we have an office here in Medina. Mm -hmm. And then we also have an office in downtown Cleveland. So we kind of cover the gamut. We do sales, leasing, we do property management, uh, just a little bit of everything, only commercial real estate, no residential. Um, so it's just, it's been great. So, and I'm one of only two female owned brokerages in Northeast Ohio. So that's that exciting. is what excites me the most is that you've taken your passion and you've just lunged into that. And so that that is the piece that I couldn't wait for everybody to hear <laughs> that you took a leap of faith mm -hmm. and you took your passion to the street yes. and, and became a broker mm -hmm. in the commercial space that yes. Is it's typically a male dominated. Yes, yes it is. Yes. Male -dominated. Very, very, yeah. very male yeah. dominated. So, so we're trying to break that up a little bit. So. Yes. Well, that's what inspires <laughs> me the most. So Michelle, tell us, um, how long have you been doing this? Oh gosh, I've been in real estate I'm in one form or another since probably 2004. Wow. Um, and, you know, took a little break for a couple years. And then uh, originally we were in, I was more in the residential field. Uh, we owned a residential company because we were doing some land developing and things like that. And then 2008 hit, crash. So mm -hmm. it was just, you know, so I took a little different direction for a few years and then decided to get back into real estate, got into the commercial field, learned that um, it's exciting because I love working with small businesses, you do. Um, so I get to work with business owners, small businesses. It's fun to watch a business maybe rent a one room office and then two years later need a larger space than buy a building. It's just, I feel like they're almost like my children as I drive through town <laughs> and like, oh, I help them, I help them. It's it's really something I am passionate about. I love small business. So was in the commercial field um, with another brokerage and then just decided to take that leap of faith and go out on our own and, and start something different and maybe do something a little different. So we are trying to break the traditional mold out a little bit, so. So what sets you aside, other than you? Because you are like <laughs> by far the most amazing woman. Aww. I, just, I, appreciate I, I admire your journey. I admire what you do in the community. You help so many people and you are just like me. We help first. Mm -hmm. And if if business comes, that's great. But right. if not, we've helped that right, person. Right. So that's one of the things I admire about you, <laughs> Michelle. So tell our viewers, um, what is you said about the passion of what you do for small businesses? Who would you say is one of your successes that went from that one room to now has a larger business? Um, that you're well, like, wow. We started with a Roto-Rooter firm that was just rented a one room office. Mm -hmm. And now we've sold them three buildings all over <laughs> between Medina and Summit County. Um, I helped Anthony at Bistro 111. Um, he was leaving his place there in Westfield Center. And we worked for about a year and a half to try to find that perfect space and I think we did and he's been very successful there so that's fun to see um gosh there's so many stories I can't even think of all of them but it's it's just yeah I, I they all are so unique and different I mean when you're working with an industrial client versus a retail right versus you know a restaurant it's just you know there's they each have different idiosyncrasies about their business that make it interesting I do enjoy manufacturing and industrial because mm. you'll b drive by a building forever and then you don't know exactly what they do and then you go in and it just fascinates me they take this and turn it into this so every day is different and every client's different so it just sure it's just exciting and that so I don't know if I had a favor but there's just lots of stories of yeah. people that we've helped and, and that's how I feel that we're you know we are in technically in sales but I feel like we're more problem solvers you've got somebody mm -hmm. who needs to expand you know, or maybe they don't need as much. Maybe they're starting to wind things down. And But there's always a problem that needs to be solved. And that's, 
what we do. Wow, that's great. <laughs> so tell us about your business itself. So you've got a couple people in your business. Yes, yes. And <laughs> you've got one young lady. Yes, our newest. Your daughter. Oh, our daughter, yes. So we do, my daughter works with us. Um, she does all of our marketing and social media. Um, so she's been with us, gosh, probably four years. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, she mostly works remote now because she's got a two-year-old she's chasing around as well. So, so you're a grandma. Uh, yes, I'm a grandma. <laughs> Best job in the entire world. <laughs> like, honestly, like skip kids, just have great kids. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. No. <laughs> But when it happens, it's the best. Yes, so, yes. Um, so yeah, so we kind of, you know, I can tell when Sarah's, when Oakley is sleeping because I'll get like 18 emails in like 10 <laughs> minutes. I'm like, oh, she must be napping. So, but we, we knew she, that was a part of what she wanted. And so we structured her position so that she could still have that mom experience. But yet she's also a huge part of what we do. So, mm -hmm. um, and she and I are, are partners in the business. So it is female owned, but yeah. So that's great. Yes, yes. So you've got, a, so you're a family dynamic. Yes. So yes. who else is in your business? Um, my husband. Okay. So we're one of those crazy couples that work <laughs> together. Um, we're 24 seven, but it, wor it works for us. I don't know why, but it just does. You know, there's days when, you know, in our business, we're very, we're on the phone all the time. We're with people all the time. Yep. So there are times when we get home and we don't even look at each other and talk to each other. We're like, we just don't want to communicate. We've been communicating all day, but yeah. um, but it works for us. And, you know, I don't know, it, it just does. And it's great. Would you recommend a husband, wife, or, or significant other go into <laughs> business together? I think you really have to think about it. Yes. Um, <laughs> I think it depends on how you are, I think. We've been together for so long. We just had our 31st wedding anniversary in wow. March. So um, we've been together long enough. I don't think when we were first married, it would have worked. No. But I think we're at a point and have been for some time. We've worked together that we know each other's strengths and weaknesses. So mm -hmm. we know like, okay, you need to take the lead on this because this is where your strength is. And this, and we, you know, we're, we kind of almost operate as one person. Like we just think, you know, I just do things that I know need to get done and I know he's not going to do and vice versa. So that's great. It, it works. And and there are times where you just have to step away and just <laughs> where we don't always agree on things. Yeah. And but, agree to disagree. Yes. Yes. So I don't, I don't recommend it for all couples, but for us, yeah. it just seems to work. So yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. My husband and I couldn't work. <laughs> you know, I love him. He's great. And he has got so many strengths, but you know, he has his professional career right, and I have right. mine right, and right. we respect those boundaries. Exactly. And so we tried that once and it didn't work out and I'm okay with that. It's <laughs> good. And it does, I, I agree. I don't think it's for everyone. It's not for it's everybody, not. but those that do, I admire yes. and you know, you can go home. I always say the bedroom is not the boardroom. Right, right. So make sure that it, <laughs> So, and, so, and sometimes our youngest daughter, um, we will have family dinners or that. And she's like, no business talk tonight. Yeah, so we, exactly. we do have to watch it sometimes because it, it's, it's just so ingrained in us right. that we just like, Hey, I forgot to tell you about this. And my son-in-law and my youngest daughter kind of rolled their eyes and like, okay, we don't need to talk yeah. business anymore. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> So leave us with a word of wisdom. What would you okay. like to share with a lady who's maybe looking to launch, regardless of what it could be? She could launch a cupcake shop or become a commercial realtor because <laughs> that's there's not a lot of there's not a lot of women in your space. We right. talked about that at right. the beginning right. of our show, but there's not a lot of women in the commercial real estate space. Um, leave us with a word of wisdom that you would want to share with somebody that's kind of like on that teeter. Do I quit my job? Do I not quit my job? Do I, what would you like to leave that, that lady that's watching us today, um, that, that may want to leap out on their own? I say, just let go of the fear. It's scary. It, it is. is. It is. Um, but as I tell people all the time, I deal with women that are, want to take that leap and start that business and are looking in a space what's the worst that can happen, right? right? You go back and if it fails, you learn. I see yeah. failures as learning opportunities. Yep. We win or we learn. Exactly. And so you have to go back and find another job or maybe that failure sparks something else that leads into a different direction, but you gotta take that leap. You don't ever want to be at the end of this life saying, 
Gosh, wish. I wish. What would have happened if we did that? Yeah. Because believe me, when we took this leap, it was a huge leap because we were all three leaping together. Um, and it was scary. And we had a lot of those conversations about, but you just got to jump and yeah. figure out what's going to happen. But it's, I mean, it can't be that bad. But, but the, your integrity in this community <laughs> is my opinion is what has sustained and has exploded your business. Well, I appreciate that. It's something that we really, really, really is a core of our business. Yes. So, yeah. Well, thank you, thank Michelle. You. It's an honor that you are in our <laughs> office and that we were able to take, um, take the time out of your busy day because I know you're very busy. Mm -hmm. And so to the viewers, Michelle Masika is the commercial real estate <laughs> broker you want to go with when you're looking to take that leap of faith move into a new space, expand your business. If you're looking to launch, we both can help you. But join the Bisbees at www.thebisbees.com. We will support you. We're here to support and, and uh, help you and uplift you and get some learning going. So thanks for viewing us. Watch us next week when we give a spotlight on another businesswoman here in our community. Karen Reale will be joining us. She is the owner and CEO of Dandy Blend, which is Goosefoot Acres there in Valley City. So join us next week. We can't wait to see you. Have an amazing day.